It's time to imagine better health with CHI Health. As the cost of care rises, more patients are seeing physician assistance. Going that route can also mean getting into the office sooner. The benefits fueling growth as much as 36% in the next decade. Jake Ritter is a CHI Health Physician Assistant. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, Jake. Hi, hey. Jake. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning guys. Uh, Good morning. What are you, what are you hearing from patients? Uh, PA, we know what PAs are. Uh, are more patients turning to uh, physician assistants? Yeah, definitely. Um, so physician assistants can work in specialties like I do. I work in general surgery. Uh, they also work in family practice. So uh, there's lots of patients that I see um, that say, oh yeah, you're a PA. I also see a PA for my you know, family practice needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, what that allows is, you know, as the baby boomer generation uh, continues to age, there's going to be you know, more providers needed to cover mm -hmm. that. And so... PAs are able to do that. It's interesting to me, the, the whole idea of, of cost. So how can, for me as a patient, how can seeing somebody like you help keep costs under control a bit better? Well, so when you get your medical bills, you kind of wonder, where does this money actually uh -huh. come from? Well, uh, it's kind of a part of a bigger health system. And so uh, the hospital as a whole, you know, hiring a PA as opposed to hiring more physicians uh, makes it easier on their budget, which trickles down to the patient. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not necessarily that you're going to see a smaller charge like right on your bill, but kind of in the background um, because you have more physician assistants working on the floor, working in family practice. It kind of drives the whole cost down mm -hmm. as a whole. My experience with PA is, is with my primary care doctor. Mm -hmm. And you'd call up, you'd want to get in, the doctor's unavailable, and they say, but we can get you in with our mm -hmm. PA. Uh -huh. But more, uh, there's more PAs that are choosing specialty, like <laughs> you did. You chose a specialty. Are, are, you, are you seeing that more? Uh, yeah, certainly. Um, so in my role with a specialty, um, I kind of like the idea of surgery because we're able to see, a, just yesterday this happened. We saw a patient, you know, they had some abdominal pain. It ended up being a surgical issue. We were able to get them in, have surgery that day, and they mm -hmm. went home later that day. Um, and that, that's really rewarding. When you can see somebody in the morning, they're definitely in pain, uncomfortable, not eating very well, you know, do a surgery on them. And that, that's, that's the best part of my job mm -hmm. right there. Mm -hmm. Is there anything happening in your field right now that you're, you feel like it's, it's an exciting thing to be able to offer that to patients? Uh, yeah, um, so with surgery, there is, um, you kind of hear about this robotic business uh -huh. and like, oh, how far into the future is that? Well, uh, some of robotics is here already. Mm -hmm. um, especially with prostate surgery, that happens uh, quite often. And uh, there's always new technologies happening. Um, uh, surgery that I do, we use the camera a lot, laparoscopic surgery. Mm -hmm. And the definition that you're able to get uh, when looking you know, inside at somebody's insights mm -hmm. uh, with that camera is just amazing. And it mm -hmm. ultimately affects the outcome. Sure. Right? Because yeah. sure. you're more recovery, precise. Yeah, uh -huh. all that yeah, stuff. Very, very uh, precise. As a PA, how intense uh, is, is your schooling? Pretty intense. Very, very intense. For, for two years, my family would basically say I was off the grid. Uh, <laughs> I, I ended up going down to Wichita State for PA school, and um, it was 26 months. Uh, I think I had a week or two of a break, but really? even during the break, I, it's not really a break. Yeah. Uh, you're just kind of catching up on studying. Because you're trying to fit a lot into a, well, I mean, it, technically it could have taken four years. Yeah, yeah. Really. So physician's assistants go to school on what's called the medical model. Um, so you learn, it, it's basically medical school cut in half. So you have one year of uh, didactic or in the classroom schooling where wow. you might have four or five lectures a day. You have a, a physician assistant staff that uh, teaches you curriculum. And then they also bring in physicians or other physician assistants mm -hmm. to uh, be more specific about certain body systems. You know, Mike and I both, I mean, I, I happily see a PA any chance mm -hmm. I get because it means I get in faster. Uh -huh. I don't want to wait a week to get in. Um, but some people might wonder, like, should I be comfortable with that? Does a mm -hmm. PA know as much as my doctor knows? What that's, do you say to that? That's a great question. And definitely I'm not going to sit here and say, I, yeah, I know as much as, you know, the general surgeon who has 20 years of experience uh -huh. that I work with. But the, the great thing is, on a daily basis, I work shoulder to shoulder with him. So obviously I've picked up a lot. And, and we're taught this in physician assistant school, too, that if you're unsure of something or you're not aware, you know, you can, it's okay to tell the patient, I don't know, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and then you go refer to your supervising physician or whatever li literature you have available. 
Um, so that's one of the main things that they drive home in mm -hmm. physician assistant But I school. think it's it always be comfortable with starting there. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah. I feel like it's, yeah, well, I mean, they, you, you can do a lot of what a doctor can do in many cases, right? Definitely. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. medica medication and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can see somebody get their history and physical, mm -hmm. um, potentially diagnose what's going on and, and provide them a prescription or a game plan at least to get them better. That's right. Yeah, we address the cost effectiveness, but the time thing is also something that we briefly touched on. Mm -hmm. How can seeing a PA save time too? Right, so I hear physicians say, okay, well, I'm in the first waiting room now. Now I'm in the actual exam room, second uh -huh. waiting room, right? Uh, when you're seeing a physician assistant, it's gonna go much faster. Um, while the physician is maybe in a surgery or talking to some other patient about something more mm -hmm. complicated, mm -hmm. I'm able to get in there, get their history, do a quick physical exam, and kind of already be thinking, okay, you know, this person's going to have options A, B, and C, mm -hmm. and then go present that to the physician so that when he walks in the room, he's already streamlined on what's going on with you. I just and feel like all of this is one example of how smart we can be in modern medicine. Right. Uh, you saw on the screen there some information about where to find Mr. Ritter, and we'll send you to chihealth.com slash general dash surgery to follow up even more. Jay, thanks for stopping by this yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for Great having me. Great to meet me. you. Gotcha. Omaha guy. Singer-songwriter Haley Knox.